Welcome to Namaste Canada. I am Neeraj. And I am Ruchika. And today we are going to unbox this Cuisine Art stand mixer. Uh, we wanted to uh, get some dough mixers and we searched uh, for quite a few days in the market. We bought one but it was faulty so we had to go and return it back and while uh, returning it we found this this one. It had a really nice deal so this was priced at $300 uh, but we got it for $180 because of the Black Friday sale and Cyber Monday and we thought that this is a very good deal and we should buy it. That's why we bought it. Now we are opening it for the first time. And the advantage of this one is it has a three year limited warranty. So if there is any mechanical issue in it, so we can always go back and exchange and get a new one. This is the main machine, it has motor in its arm and there is a tilt hook here so you can press this hook to tilt the head upwards or downwards whichever way you want and then this is the mug in which you will put the ingredients to mix them or to do whatever you want to do with them uh, with all its accessories which we will show later mm -hmm. right and it is quite big bowl so you have uh, 5.5 quarts which is right. uh, approximately I think 5 liters or 4 point something liters mm -hmm. uh, it has sufficient capacity for let's say family of 4 or 6 right. Right, for dough making yeah. and then this is its power cable it's a simple power cable you can just plug it into any of the power outlets and, you're good. and then on this side so this is uh, the there is a knob which you can rotate to set the speed it has a 12 speed setting uh, so you can tilt it and check which speed works for you yeah and there are three attachments with it so one is to whisk so you can attach it to whisk with your milk or cream and there's a mixing paddle uh, you can attach this to the to this part to mix something and there is another one dough hook which is required for dough making so if you have any flour and you want to make a dough you can just pour water and flour which we'll also show you and then you can use this attachment to make a dough yeah. so this is the lid or cover to okay. cover this so that your while mixing or while making dough your ingredients do not splash out that's why mm -hmm. you, you can use this it fits in here like a lid so main thing is that we can cover this up only this thing will go uh, inside this and you can avoid splashing of the ingredients okay. so we will now just show you how to put the dough hook uh, on on this so i will rotate this a little bit so you see this this is the uh, main hook that comes out from the motor and then you will attach the dough hook uh, on top of this to press yeah and then you have to rotate it in, in, in clockwise in, in the clockwise direction to uh, lock it up there so now it is locked we can use this and we will show you how to make dough so guys we are done with unboxing this uh, dough mixer uh, now we will uh, mix the wheat dough and we'll show you how to do that for that i have taken in this container the the dough that i want to mix and i need to Pull this down and lift this head up so that I can fit this in, in this circular rim here. So, so now uh, we need to put the dough hook here. Okay, so we, we have uh, fit the dough hook. Now what I will do is I will just pull this down, put the head back 
I'll put some water. I have intentionally uh, tilted the hat before putting the water because I want to put little water. If you will put more water, it will be um, much thinner. So I'll put little water and then you have to turn this knob to the required speed and it'll start doing its job, which is mixing the dough. So I usually do it at five. And if you feel like you need more water, you can slightly uh, put more water from the side and it will start mixing the dough. As you can see, it's mixing the dough uh, pretty quickly. And I realized that I need more water, so I'll, I'll put some more water. And if you feel like, okay, you need to uh, speed it up, you can speed it up. As you can see the dough is mixing up and as the dough is mixing it's also cleaning it from the sides of the container so you will not see any uh, dough left on the container sides after it's done. The dough is done. I'll take that out now. I have kept it a little softer because we are uh, going to use it for parathas. So that's why we need it a bit softer than uh, we usually use for Indian bread or rotis or chapatis, whatever you say. So this is the final look. So you can just use your hands to get it out of this bowl and we will put this okay actually it took only one minute to prepare your dough let us know if you find this useful and if you are using it for what purpose you are using it so that we can also get to know if there are new things which we can try so please like on this video subscribe to the channel and stay connected thank you so much bye 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 <laughs>